So in the edit page, you can see that I can see the timeline in a certain way. So I can go around and hold Alt on my keyboard to scroll in and scroll out to zoom in and zoom out of the timeline that you see right here, just like this, as you can see. So if I were to go around over here onto uh, the view option, then you get different options on how you want to view out different elements of the timeline. So if I were to go around onto the view option, you can go around and change out the way on how you see different things. Let's say, for example, you want to enable out, uh, let's say, stack timelines, then you can enable that out so that you can see the stack timelines right here. You can go around and enable subtitle tracks. So if you have a subtitle, you'll see it and you can enable and disable the audio waves over here as well. So if I were to go around on to the video view option right here, then you can see that right now the thumbnail mode is turned on. So if I were to go around and zoom in, you can see that all of the thumbnails are processed. And sometimes when you're working with a lot of clips, this might uh, do this might take some time in order to process it and uh, even see the timeline. So that in that case, what you can do is you can just go around and process out the thumbnail from the first and last uh, portion of the video, just like this. Or you can go around over here and then turn it off entirely. Similarly, for the audio wave option, so you can see the audio wave right here. So you can go around over here and click on the first one to enable out the audio view just like this to see both of the ranges that is the negative and the positive range right here. You can go around and enable this out right here. And as you can see, so, so you can just see one range right here. You can e even disable this out right here, as you can see, so that you can just see the audio wave from one section. And you can just go around over here and uh, enable different sections right here, as you can see. So you can go around over here and then select out different audio view options as well. Apart from that, the timeline itself, uh, you can see that has a certain size right here. So I can go around and then click and drag this out right here, just like this. And then what you can do is you can resize it out. You can go around over here and you can change around the height of the video. As you can see, you can increase and decrease the height of the video. You can increase and decrease the audio over here as well. So you can decrease this as you can see, you can decrease out the height right here. And there you go, you got a compact option right here that you can work around with the video and audio right here, just like this as well, and change around the size. And that is how you can work around with the timeline view options inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.